Hey everyone, Tony Winston here, Jazz Piano College. Got a request over on Patreon to do the song It Never Entered My Mind. I remember this song as not being one of my favorites because I just thought the chord progression was just so boring. And I believe the original chord progression is something like uh, A flat. Well, it's in F, uh, the original, but... just going back and forth between uh, A flat and C minor and it just seemed like the song just did that for like the whole song obviously there's a few other chord changes but it, it just seemed like a very kind of a weak chord progression to me and it's written by one of my favorite composers Richard Rogers and uh, Lorenz Hart was who wrote the lyrics which I also don't really care for but uh, Miles Davis did it and I think Miles said to his piano player why don't you uh, reharmonize that thing? Let's see if they got the piano player. Yeah, Red Garland is on piano. So, Red, why don't you reharmonize that? Oh. Just starts with that, basically, just some arpeggios on A flat. A flat augmented, that's what the plus sign means. And so, you know, hey, I did y'all off, I did y'all off flavor. I, uh, I wrote out a chart in the key that Miles Davis does it in, and I put the original melody in, and the chords don't always fit that exactly, because Miles takes great liberties with the melody. Uh, but uh, we'll run through the chart here and see what we can do with it. So, and right there with the A flat augmented, with the, uh, the melody note being G, you've really got a C major over A flat. I mean, that's, that would be the best way to write that. C major over A flat, I believe. And then. Prob I don't know if Miles plays that exact melody there. Probably not. All right. And it sounds like red is using those typical Berkeley College of Music chord formulas, and I, you know, have them listed down there in the description. You can uh, print out a page about these formulas. So, like for instance, here we have the third on top of the D flat major chord, and the left hand is going root and fifth, three, seven, three, and then the same formula for the C minor, root, fifth, three, seven, three, and uh, Miles does something that would just infuriate Barry Harris because, you know, on the three chord, you're not supposed to put in a nine like that because it's outside of the key of A flat. Now, obviously, people do it all the time these days, and it sounds fine. But the thing is, is Red plays this, and, and Miles plays like that. And so you've got this horrible-sounding um, dissonance there. And then, you know, just to add insult to injury, My Miles plays C while, you know, Red Red's playing this. You know, and, and, you know, that's okay on that chord, but on the first one there, it's, it's not so great. And because in the, in the second chord, you know, that note's actually in A flat, right? So, so I, do, I do not recommend playing this chord. But, you know, it kind of has a cool sound. And, you know, he does it again in the, in the last verse. He does it again. So it, it wasn't an accident. <laughs> uh, so where were we? And then here we have, you know, this is how jazz got started. Somebody said, I like that note. <laughs> All right, so that's the chord. It's B flat 7 with a flat 5. Nowadays, you know, Sometimes we think of that as a sharp 11, but you know, it's in a very simple form here. We can call it the flat five. E flat 11 just means E flat suspended. Put a D flat over an E flat and you got it. And then A 13, it's like that. So check this out. And 
right there, that C minor, you know, you're not supposed to add a, a flat six to a minor chord, but you know, if you're thinking of it as a, like a, just an extension of A flat major, then it's okay. Now this little transition I thought was very cool. So we're taking an, an A7 flat five and then the exact same chord up here, D7 flat five. And what's interesting is, is like the root movement here. So we're on E flat 11 and we're trying to get to D flat. And how do you get to D flat? You could go two, five, one, or you could go two, Why does that work? Because if you do two, five, A flat to one, what's the tritone of uh, A flat? It's D. So you could go two, five, and do a D7 there. And that's where we get that. And then what precedes a D7? Could be an A minor to that. And then we can reharmonize that minor chord to be another minor, uh, be another dominant seven flat five right into D flat. All right, that's way more explanation than you deserve. <laughs> and here, uh, you know, the piano player does play a minor seven with a, ma a minor major seven. And it, you know, it kind of fits the melody note there. If you go, you could make it like a minor 13. Like I say, he takes uh, great liberties with the melody. And, you know, the piano player here now, he's just playing A flat over E flat and then a diminished chord right here, which gives you the, the chord symbol there, E flat seven, flat nine. And Miles is, you know, goofing around up there. And then we start a little walk up here. You know, here the melody is this, and the chord is B minor, so that's obviously not going to work. And what Miles does is he does something like... So the B minor, and then to the C minor, and then here we have a D diminished. And, you know, play a G triad over the diminished chord would be nice didn't work. Uh, or maybe voice it. Let's see, how could we voice this chord? You know, just experimenting with it. Use the E flat 11th. And then we're back to the same old stuff. Seven flat five. Right there, that's E flat. Uh, would be an E flat 11 since the melody note is the suspended fourth. And then just put the D flat in the bass. You can barely see the slash there, but it's a like a slash. And then D flat. And then. an extra bar here where he plays through that little chord progression and then the piano solo comes in and uh, at one point here pretty close to the beginning of the solo he plays he quotes uh, what is that song uh, If I Had You, that's the name of it. Uh, anyway, it's a great song played by Art Tatum. Uh, 
Okay, that's it, I guess, for this song. Uh, like I say, the chart is free. It's down in the description. Print it out if you like. Um, Rogers and Hart uh, by way of Red Garland and Miles Davis. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.